Good luck. All right. Um, let's play our favorite opening. Why not? Ah, this is something to consider. Um... Hmm, how do I want to play this? Let's go back to our other favorite opening. This one never let us down. <laughs> yeah, this, so this is a uh, central rook opening. Unless I've missed something. It's possible I have. It's been a while since I last played this. So yeah, I can simultaneously prevent the rook from advancing and hold the center point. And everything just barely fits into place here. Stream capture looks okay. Yeah, the board is captured. Um, we're not missing part of the board. We're not dropping all the frames. So this looks good. So the idea here is that I, Santa, have claimed a Vanguard pawn. And... Um, usually the rook moves to the center file in short order, and a silver proceeds up the center. Uh, this silver move confuses me, although maybe it shouldn't. Um, So what I'm confused about is that the head of my bishop still looks prone, at least to me. So I'm confused about how I simultaneously maintain the vanguard pawn um, while this silver is putting some pressure on my position. Uh, part of this will involve <clears throat> my king moving to one side or the other, probably to the right. Um, I think this is playable. So the risk here is that I've still not moved my king out of the center. Yeah, let's get the king running. Try not to fall into any opening traps along the way. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, my silver races up behind my center pawn. And I'm not entirely sure where it goes next. But I think it just goes directly behind the pawn. I think that's the normal position for this silver in this opening. Okay, they take a tempo to push on the edge. We need this tempo on our edge. Eventually my king could run out through this corridor.
I want to make sure my king is not exposed along any diagonal here. So, I see that they've done well defending against a variety of, I don't know, this side of the board looks, I'm sorry, this section of the board looks very compact, very well defended, but also there don't seem to be a lot of options about how to further its development. Um... Well, do I wait one more move for, I'm confused what castle I should build. Cozy castle is coming to mind here. Um, Half Mino comes to mind, but like, I'm concerned about silver up. Well, where would the silver go next? He pushes this pawn next. After I capture, the silver recaptures. And this is exciting. Um, oh, the silver could also move to the left and do the same thing. I've not completed Half Mino Castle, so... Hey, what do we do? I guess once... no? There's not a simple answer here. At least there does not seem to be a simple answer. <sighs> um, I guess if the silver gets too close, then we could lift this gold. But that doesn't stop the threats. All right, let's try to protect my king. I might be one move slow here. Or I want to complete half Mino before I start an attack. But I might not have a choice.
Well, if I push this pawn, if they push, if I push, if they take, I, wait, I'm forgetting where stuff's at. Their pawn would be here, my pawn would be there. The silver could retreat, and then I could pursue this pawn with my rook. They would push here. Um, I take the pawn, they take my pawn. Um, I have a pawn in hand, but they promote it here. Uh, I could drop my pawn. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Hmm. Yeah, there's still a tactic in all of this. There's one fairly enormous tactic. But, well, I'm not sure if it's even there. I think it's there. Uh... So I have two shots here. One is that my silver approaches their king. Two is my much heavier punch with uh, the bishop exchange. Which doesn't seem to quite work. I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here, but it doesn't look like a good basket. Okay, that's... I don't understand this. That's risky. That's what this looks like. Um, I guess that ropes off my knight from doing anything tricky. They might simultaneously make some threat with their knight, but I'm not too alarmed about that. Oh, it closes this diagonal to the rook. That's the calmer thing that that does. Um, all right, we're going to push an attack on this side of the board. with this highly unorthodox advance. Normally I would try to support my center, but here with the castle on this side and this on this side, like file three is the target. So let's see what they do.
Yeah, it was a matter of time until this move appeared on the board. So I was threatening to move up with my silver if they do absolutely nothing. Instead they do this, and I have to land now the punch that I've been preparing forever. Uh, hopefully it connects. But why wouldn't it? I don't know. Actually, it's... I've got a different punch. Oh, I have various punches here. Um, this knight move is too risky. It really is. I know I was threatening to bring the silver up, but... I think this accidentally resolves in my favor. Um, so my subtle point here is that if the silver moves, the knight has nowhere to run to. I forgot that if I take a pawn, I can use the pawn. Which here saves my butt. Yes, they have to do this immediately. This, I don't think, was their plan. But if they had another piece in hand, this could be strong. They just don't have that right now. Uh, so, bishop, rook, pawn. They close the diagonal. We start exchanging like mad. I don't see other lines here. I mean, yeah, I could put the bishop on the edge. They kick it. And then I cry. That's a line. Um... I think this is okay. So they have a couple options. One, pursuing an attack down file 8. Two, trying to break down file 7. Well, two doesn't work, so they have to go down file 8. But um, even here, I can exchange bishops and then win the knight. And yes, they promote. And yes, I cry, but... You know, we'll get over it. Oh, wait, but no, if I threaten this exchange, they're just going to close the diagonal, then we have to exchange here. Understanding that we might get a knight in hand if we sack. But also, we might not want to sack. We might just bring our silver up and try to take stuff out this way with silver. Um. Oh, also... Just because they manage to promote a pawn doesn't necessarily mean the rook promotes, if I put a pawn in the way. Huh. I didn't think about that. I guess that's the hidden strength of, like, yeah, having this file. Interesting.
We've been trying to do this for a while. Let's do it. I think they're going to close this diagonal. And I don't have any... I don't know for certain what I'll do against it, but I guess I could push this pawn and drop another pawn to try to force it back open. Not the response I was expecting. Definitely not the response I was expecting. I mean, I guess they can build a really solid castle in the center of the board. Um but I get some counterplay. Yeah, I think closing the diagonal would have been a calmer, more rational choice there. Um, okay, let's attack the silver. If we can displace the silver, we're better off for it. What I really want to do is bishop 5-5, five five, but I can't do it with the silver there. I know it looks like I really want to take here breaking up their castle, and I do. But this silver is ready to recapture, so this needs to be displaced first. And then we could consider taking here and our bishop i5. And whatever results from that. But this had to happen first. I have to get control of the center 3x3 three three grid here. Um, okay. Neither of us are defending today. That's cool. Um, I suppose my gold needs to move. Or my rook needs to move, or something. Um, hmm. Okay, we're just going to keep punching and see if they react. So, 
the deal here is that I want to retreat this gold. But retreating the gold doesn't always make sense. So we're going to put this move in place first. A second will take here. Gold takes a third wee bishop drop, hitting the lance. So that's the rationale. It's like, yes, I want to run away with my gold and save it. But also, I want to break this castle. I can't do this break if I'm unwilling to make sacrifices. So yeah, they could take this gold. I could take here. And we're off to the races. All right, here we are. So now Bishop 5-5 five five is the threat. Tokin takes gold is the other threat. Uh, yep, yeah, so they respond to the other threat which empowers me to drop this here and break the castle open. This would be riskier if they had a silver. They don't have a silver. A uh, silver general, that is. This is... Uh, pretty much guarantees that I get to walk right in. This uh, diagonal moving gold is a weak shape in general. I know you could ask, like, how is a move a shape? But that's just how these things sometimes work. Um, right, so we get to capture here and chase their king a bit. So we've got a lance, knight, silver. Unfortunately we cannot use our pawns here, but it would be nice if we could. We're gonna come under attack in five, four, three. All right. Yeah. Um, so our horse is attacked. Um, what do we do? If we run with the horse, it gets killed. Um, I don't have much choice here, do I? I have a choice, though. I could drop my silver. Doesn't, it's not a profitable choice. All right, we'll exchange here. That's fine. It's fine because I say it's fine. So they're going to take with their silver, or else their castle is irreparably shattered. Um, I guess, wait, hang on, Spidey senses here. Actually, wait, <laughs> oh my, we have options today. We are going to pick door number three. So both of these pawns are targets. 
just before this stream, I'd watched a game where uh, Muranaka Seven Don, professional, um, had a successful attack down the first file. Now the king was over one file, so that makes a difference. But still, I like this being able to target both heads of this castle at once. Um, And there's a third head of the castle right here. Okay. You've got a gold and a bishop in hand. Um, I guess it could have been profitable to hold on to the knight just a touch longer. Um, okay, we're going to place the other bishop on 5-5 five because five, it's such a beautiful square. Bishops are good attacking pieces. Bishops are also good defensive pieces. So, um, we're going to take the other lance and find a way to use it. If they exchange bishops on 6-4 uh, here, then we take, and this silver has to move. A di diagonally moving the gold tends to expose the gold to danger, in general. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, man, that's super hard to resist. Alternatives don't seem pleasant. Uh, so yeah, I should just take this lance. What am I going to do next? I'm not sure. I still don't have the right piece to attack. Um, a knight is a good piece, but I still need, like, a gold or a rook or something. If they do knight takes, my rook becomes active and might be able to promote somehow, but... I'm a bit doubtful of that. We have two lances. Yeah, letting go of my center pawn was not smart. Um. Hmm. They have three pawns in hand. Well, like I've been saying, I need a gold general. I don't need a rook, necessarily. Oh. I'm, is my king just as vulnerable as all these claims I've been making about my opponent's king? Not exactly. My king is worse off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, what have I done? Um, Alright, they don't have a knight. Yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's spooky. They don't have a knight until I give them a knight. I might be dumb enough to do that pretty soon here. So yeah, my promoted bishop looks pretty cool. Um, is it useful? I don't know. 
Maybe. Hmm. That is very surprising. I don't understand. I guess the point is they're trying to checkmate me. That's a noble aspiration. Quite literally. Um, I really, really don't understand how. How is it that my king is prone here? I don't get it. Like, even if they sack the rook, I'm still safe. Okay, they have two gold generals in hand. They're still attempting to checkmate here. I still don't see this even being remotely close to being a mate. Um, I just don't understand. Okay. My king has one legal move. So I should probably play it. I'm still very confused. Perhaps they were concerned about some checkmate that I might have had. Maybe this is why they're attacking so forcefully. It's because they see something that I just completely overlooked. Okay.
30秒40秒50秒12345678クロスングデイアグノルヒアイズアクレバーモーブアルギブンダーペハプスディスシルバードロップイズアルソクレバーアンデルブロックスディスクエアデイライクトドロップアビシャパン Well, also defending against a drop threat here. But perhaps a silver th drop is also not clever. All right, I have one legal move. I still don't understand what's going on. Okay, I have some idea now. But. But if I'm reading it right, it's not made. Well, we have one legal move. Okay, so if I run away, I'm very close to getting mated. I'm sorry, if I run away, that's well, not quite mate in one. If I take, they drop something here. But that drop is so heavy and so slow. I might be giving them a free tempo here. Oh. Well, that's definitely giving them a free tempo. I still survived this, but that was needlessly complicated. I missed Night Drop, Gold Drop. They're threatening stuff here, but my king runs away just barely in time. Night Check, King up. Gold can't pursue fast enough. But they could invert the move order. And this gets really messy. Um, yeah, no, I think. They might have had something more effective with a different move order. But, I mean, this is still as effective as it's going to get. I'm still trying to read it. Um, oh, they have a golden hand. Um, this makes it much harder to defend. I have a gold, finally. I might have a mate threat with my rook if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, and I might not be lucky. Um,
Yeah, I'm still trying to read this. It's still hard. Yeah, this is the move several turns ago I should have foreseen. This threatens to remove both defenders of my king. Um... I don't know if this is right. It's probably wrong. Most ideas are wrong. <sighs> oh, I could have just added a defender. But that doesn't save me in the long run. Yeah, that's the one I was afraid of. Sanjudio Oh. Did I get lucky? Do I have mate here? It's close. It's not close enough. And that is so close. That's sad. <laughs> oh, that's pitiable how close it is. Um, but yeah, there's no mate. That's beautiful.
Okay, let's start. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, so... Ain't much I can do about that. Yeah, there's no escaping this. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was brutal. Wow, what a game, as always. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez, that was quite an attack. Um... All right, so we played Central Falrook and brought our pieces forward. <sighs> Yeah, so far this looks pretty normal. I think. Unless I've missed something, and I could be. Uh, yeah. So that knight out. And this knight forward. Yeah, this looks... Uh... Well, I tend to rely on whatever seems to work, but that leads to a knowledge of what works on Shogi Wars, which is not the same stuff that works on 81 Dojo. Um... Yeah, I guess something about the move order isn't quite right. Yeah, they certainly got an attack out of it. Oh! Have I made some... It wouldn't surprise me if I've done something odd. I couldn't find... Oh, okay, allowing pawn eight four. Um, hmm. So if I'd retreated this back to five nine, yeah, this is possible. Um, something like this. Yeah, so I. Wait, there's, I mean, there's this, and there's also, like, this, no? I don't know. There's a lot of fun positions here. Um, I'm not sure I get what's going on. Oh, okay, you can't immediately... Right, sorry, yeah. You know, you're right about that. That, like, this knight is loose. Um, so, yeah, the silver can't immediately move to take the pawn. Um, Yeah, this this pressure is something. Um, not sure how I feel about this. Um, I 
I didn't quite understand this. Like, there's two walls surrounding this king. So that's what, oh. Yeah, no, I guess that is pretty normal. I'm not used to seeing... I don't know. Maybe my attack just doesn't mesh well with this castle. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Normally, playing such a light castle does empower them to attack quickly. So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, I guess he says I just allowed this pawn in advance. Um, maybe I did. Yeah, I guess their castle stands up to quick attacks. Hmm. I just thought a counterattack would be enough. Um, and maybe it was? I'm not totally sure. <laughs> yeah, this... that seemed a bit much. Yeah. Cause like that's a free token. Um, I mean it's not easy for me to put up resistance afterward, but I could just take it. So, I mean, yeah, their dragon promotes my castle is harassed by whatever pieces they can muster to attack. So, like, I didn't... Hmm. Maybe it's required, because, like, the 5-5 five five bishop drop threat, while, yeah, they can always counter with bishop 2-2. Two two. Um, it's just not comfortable. But also, like, I'm bad at counting material. Ah! Okay, so maybe not so much right there. Yeah. First of all, if I'm collecting the knight anyway... Yeah, then bishop takes bishop here just accelerates my attack to pick up the knight. Try to push this guy here. I really.
really slows down the position. Um, whereas I've been trying to accelerate this as much as I can, but the, I can only do so much to power an attack um, without having pieces to support it. So, like, if he takes, I guess I exchange here. Um, I guess I take here. I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, this looks hard. Yeah, that looks very good for him. Um, yeah, so I'm probably misreading that. I guess I have to play this or something, but still. Um, it's fine. I like, I don't have an immediate threat because the silver is so nicely poised. Positioned. It makes it very hard for me to attack here. I mean, it blocks your counter attack on the diagonal, at least for now, but um, looks like you're going to get to promote the rook, and hopefully, I get some kind of an attack. So, I've probably misplayed if I'm just allowing them to promote. I should have retreated like he suggested, and now there's not a whole lot I can do. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, like, you misread that. Um, Yeah, here I had some chances. I just didn't play it right at all. Um, so, I'm not sure what to do. Lance 2-6. I did somewhat consider this. Um, yeah, I guess this forces them to defend. For some reason, this, like, never appeals to me until I do it. And then when I do it, it looks strong. In the game, there just weren't chances, but um, there should be something here. Yeah, and this makes sense between this and this. Yeah. There's definitely stuff that can be done. Well, I guess this is protected, but still. Um, Uh, I don't know. There's also this, too. Um, yeah, 
that would be like the one thing that would really help out here is if I could have some promoted piece joining the attack. Uh, okay. So, yeah, in the game I played this. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what am I going to do? It's... I don't have the right pieces, though. Like, there's just... I can't imagine any attack coming anywhere close. Even after you've sacked a rook and I have a rook, I still can't do anything. I mean, like, there's maybe Rook 1-1 one, one or something, but that looks crazy. Uh, you have two golds in hand, and two generals already protecting the king. Uh, after the pawn 6-4 drop. Yep, after this. I mean, what can I do to break this? I don't know. Silver 2-8. Um, Alright. Uh, no lance for an edge attack. Oh, well, I guess that's true. Um, hmm. So what if I just do this defense directly? Somehow this just... I don't know. Maybe this is right. That's so strange. <sighs> yeah. Both of us are attacking very slowly here. So yeah, Silver 8-2 might be the idea to save this, perhaps. Or 2-8. Yeah, I do wonder, so after this drop, I dropped back here. Yeah, let's take a look, because I'm not sure I'm going to learn. I mean, as good as instructive that position is. Oh, um, yeah, so where was it? Just this directly, right? Instead of bishop 3-9. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll see if he rejoins us. 
So there's a bishop 3 9 drop somewhere. Instead of this, he's saying there's a faster mate. Well, I'll try to see it. I'm not sure he's right about this. As much as I want him to be correct, I don't think that's correct here. Wait. Um, I mean, it's close, but I don't think it's quite there. All right, maybe it's not gold drop. Maybe it's this knight promotion. Wait, if it's knight promotion... Yeah. Yeah. So instead of this... He has something else in mind. But what could it be? Oh. There's a mate in seven here? How is this possible? Gold drop is what I started to look at here. How could this mate? And we take here. Silver drop. Nice. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, all the way home. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not super easy to see, but yeah, it was there. Um, but yeah, they have all these various checkmates. <laughs> it was almost, almost, almost close, this game. <laughs> ah, yeah, it was almost... Like, just one false move here. <laughs> uh... Yeah, too close for comfort. And he saw this. I'm not even sure that this mates. Yeah. So, only because I gained several tempos, I almost had this. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, faster mates are more comfortable. Uh, yeah, I'm actually curious. Yeah. Could this running have also worked? Well, I'm sorry, not here. Wait, no, I've got a goal. No, well, I don't know. So because I'm just not defending correctly, I don't get a turn to attack. Yeah. That's unfortunate. It's cool to see how many ways there are to survive against this, but um, just shows how complicated it can be to checkmate a king. Especially in the center of the board. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the computer sequence is probably something ridiculous. Uh.
So, yeah, I'm not sure what else there is to review. Yeah, I'm surprised that just putting the silver right where you can take it. Well, I'm sorry, a hanging piece is no better than a threatened piece, is it? It's that bishop fork hitting my rook and my silver. It was crushing. Because I just didn't defend at all. So, that just happens a lot when I'm careless, and I need to care more if I want to try to win some games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so if you're making moves and you just have no idea what's going on, it's hard to make remarkable moves. Um, but yeah, this this advance is nice. I don't think there's any way I survive, <laughs> or I don't think. Uh, um, I think this does better than alternatives. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, he forgot about my horse at 9... Uh, whatever that corner is, 9-1. Rook drop. Oh. Yeah. So to be clear, we're talking about this position where I walk into this fork and get crushed. Um, this here. This thing. Yeah, somehow that defends everything. In a position where just like a rook would have been nice to have in other spaces, but... Oh, I'm sorry, rook 3-8. We're not talking 8-3 or 7-3 or something, but yeah. <laughs> nice, yeah. Yeah, if you just play some book position that everybody's seen before, that's not so interesting. But if you get something really wild like this, this is something uh, spectators like to see and talk about. That is so wild. The two golds and a bishop in hand. Pawn drop 6-4. Uh... It, yeah, this pawn drop here looks, like, ridiculously strong. I Because I boxed in my king, it's very hard for me to do anything here. Um, so maybe the answer is I just need to manage my time a bit better and not be so much of a perfectionist in the opening, and not worry so much about everything, and just try to play a decent game instead of an awesome game.
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd studied more, if I had better move orders, etc., like, that wouldn't happen as much. But I just deal with this. Um... <laughs> yeah. Um uh, this is close. This is definitely close. Uh, um Yeah, I just dropped a piece here. This walks straight into the bishop fork. And, uh... So, that was something. Um... Yeah. If my attack were faster, then this would be okay, but, um... Hmm. And move fifty-eight. Oh, instead of this, um, yeah, I was really stumped what he was trying to do here. I forgot that this is a knight. Um. But yeah, this is a possibility. Hmm. Huh. He's got just a bishop and a gold in hand. He can get another gold when he needs it. Yeah. Yeah, so here, I'm confused. Let's see, if we waste a move. Oh, okay. Um, what about this? Like, you were saying this was good. Is this no longer good? I don't know. I'm confused by the claim that, like, I'm not sure this is a quick win, if it is a win, but um, it's complicated, I think. I'm not sure. If there is a quick win, it's probably some crazy bishop sack somewhere, but I just don't see it. Uh, because here, knight takes, all right, king takes, so what follows? Okay, um, hmm. He says he gets the same attack. Like, it looks like a very strong attack. Oh. I see. So, yeah. Okay. that That's kind of rough. So, we could still block it this way. But, this doesn't hold forever. He's concerned about knight through four. Uh Hmm. 
now it's going to be a slaughter if I allow the rook sacrifice. Um, even better. All right, one move back. There's something else. Okay, I take the horse. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty strong. I have to like do something like this. And I guess you could take it anyway. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sharp stuff. Super sharp stuff. And yeah. Nowhere in all of this do I get any any of my attack. Um, I just don't have the pieces to attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's so ridiculously strong of a tournament. I'm getting clobbered every round. So, yeah, it's quite the event. Um. <laughs> yeah, you journey step. Uh stopped one of his attacks which is a good attack um wow that's brutal to just get your attack completely shut down my goodness what would that feel like <laughs> what would that feel like to uh have your attack shut down i don't know but yeah He's a lost position against Adun, having to defend over a long time, and found one chance at the endgame. And the endgame, the game, oh wow. So he's had a lot of really long games. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this one didn't last 170 moves. 170 moves at a time control of one minute Byoyomi. Just think about that. If you're assuming like a hundred of those moves were played at a pace of one minute per player, per move, you just add that up. That adds up very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like chess tournaments where you can just sometimes get a one position and sit on it. Or a drawn position and sit on it. I don't know about Go tournaments, but I assume that has something similar. Where if you get up by enough... You will play carefully, but not be distressed the whole time you're doing it. Um, and Shogi, like, thinks that the clock, I guess, is, um, it drives some of the intensity, too. Um, even though you have one minute for every move, that's just a lot to figure out. Yeah. Like uh, Grolik says here, it's a different progression 
than other games in chess. And in Go, the game starts slowly, gains in intensity, complexity, and speed in the middle game, and then simplifies and calms down toward the end game, usually, but not always. In Shogi, it just keeps getting more intense, um, unless one player has severely misplayed. And even then, there are some chances, but it's... I don't know. Other games, it just calms down a lot, and who wants to watch a calm game? Yeah. But yeah, I've lost three out of four games in this tournament. So there's only... I don't know, five rounds left. Do we think I'm going to win any more games this tournament, or I'm just going to lose every game? I wonder. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I'm just letting him know that I do share this. Um, yeah. Usually I do. <laughs> uh, and this is... Uh, it's good that I'm able to share this. I could show this on next Shogi Sunday and demonstrate that I played a decent game. Despite, again, losing. <laughs> uh, we express our sentiment anyway. So despite, again, losing my game, it's fine. Um, this is how the game concludes. So the notion in this final position is I don't even have, like, all my checks just immediately have my attack run out. And there's a mate following based on them having five pieces attacking. So, yeah, they've got all this stuff. There's just no defending it. And against this wave of everything, like, I have two pieces attacking. It's not even close. Um, the thing I could have tried would be this. I contemplated this. I was not spending all of my time I'm just too excitable. It's because my focus is not on the game. At least not as much as my opponents are focusing. I know I can focus better, but um, there's some non-game circumstances affecting that. So hopefully we can resolve some of that and then play some better shogi, you know, when I can actually focus a little bit better. But um that's not my opponent's fault, that's my own character, that's my flaw. It's nothing against my opponent. But, um, yeah, if I can focus better, I can play better. So I need to work on that. Um, so when did I start losing? Uh, yeah, there are, there are out-of-shogi circumstances that explain when I started losing. Um, I mean, if you believe the rating graph, you look at it, you'll see, like, two months ago or something, three months ago I peaked or something, and I've just significantly declined since then. And I think, again, there's just non-shogi circumstances affecting this. I'm working on it. It'll take time. But, you know, maybe by the time round nine rolls around, I might have a chance to win another game. We'll see. It's just how it goes, unfortunately. But yeah, we're learning the whole time, so that's not bad. Uh, it'd be nice to win more, but um, that's a bit selfish. It's This is a beautiful bishop drop. This whole attack was just brilliantly conducted. Um, yeah, that was awesome. And... I don't know what I can do, but we'll work on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Mifa has an exciting way of playing. Yeah, so... It's definitely an emotional ride to play in such a fashion. Where just every single time, you just throw everything into the attack and say, forget my king. I don't care. That's an emotional way to play the game. It does not always produce wins. Um, it can cause your opponent to tilt a bit. And yeah, poor Girl League here got to be the victim of my emotion, but he prevailed on the other side of it, so well done. I uh, hope we all enjoyed this game and hopefully learned something from it. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to play better soon. But again, we'll see.